Hi, I'm Alistair Chapman and I'm here at the Sony Digital Motion Picture Centre at Pinewood in the UK to take you through the different scan modes and codecs that are available in the Sony Burano camera. This video is one of a series of videos on Burano, so please do also take a look at the others for further information on the camera. Burano has a full frame 8.6K sensor that offers various scan modes including the ability to record extremely high quality images using Sony's 16-bit XOCN codec, high efficiency 10-bit 422 compressed 8K files using the new XAVC-H codec, as well as tried and trusted 10-bit 422 XAVC-I. In this video, I'll look at all of these different options and explain more about the XOCN codec and the new XAVC-H codec. I'll tell you which codec can be used with which scan mode, as well as offer suggestions as to which codec to use for different applications. Let's start by looking at the different scan modes. The camera's scan modes can be changed via page one of the status menu, short press of the menu button will take you to that menu, or after a long press of the menu button in the full menu under project settings. In firmware version 1, the camera supports a variety of scan modes, starting with the largest scan, which is an 8.6K 16x9 scan of the full frame sensor. Next, there's a slightly less tall 8.6K 17x9 scan of the full sensor. These scan modes are limited to a maximum of 30 frames per second. If you wish to shoot at frame rates higher than 30 frames per second, you'll need to use the camera's full frame crop 6K mode. Now note that in the case of the full frame crop 6K modes, the 6K refers to the size of the recorded file, not the scan size. The full frame crop 6K 17x9 and 16x9 scan modes still read almost the entire width of the full frame sensor. There is very, very little crop it's only about a 1.07 times crop. So there's only a small reduction in the field of view. This large near full frame 8K scan is then downsampled to 6K for recording. This brings a couple of benefits. The main one being that it reduces the amount of data that needs to be recorded, keeping the file sizes smaller, but more importantly, it allows higher frame rates up to 60 frames per second to be recorded using normal VPG 400 CF Express cards. If you wish to shoot with a super 35 millimeter size scan area, perhaps to use classic or vintage 35 millimeter cinema lenses, Burano has both 17 by nine and 16 by nine 5.8K super 35 millimeter size scan modes. Compared to full frame, the sensor is cropped by a factor of 1.5. The 5.8K scan modes have the same image quality as the full frame modes, so shooting at Super 35 should not be seen as a compromise. There's no change to the sensitivity, noise levels, dynamic range or colour performance. And if you are delivering your final production at 4K, then your footage will still be nicely oversampled, resulting in very high levels of fine detail and texture without the need to apply sharpening. For me, this is one of the key strengths of Burano. It's an exceptionally high performance Super 35 mm camera, as well as an exceptionally good full frame camera. When using the Super 35 mm 5.8K scan modes, you can shoot at up to 60 frames per second. To shoot at frame rates higher than 60 frames per second, there is a further Super 35 cropped 4K mode. This mode uses a sensor area that is 1.45 times smaller than the 5.8K Super 35mm mode. A 4K scan is used to enable the camera to shoot at up to 120 frames per second. Again, the dynamic range and colour performance do not change, and there are none of the additional aliasing issues that some other cameras suffer from in their high-speed modes. When shooting slow-motion wildlife footage, the additional magnification due to this additional crop may prove beneficial when trying to get closer to the action. 
but for other content you may need to use slightly wider lenses than you would do normally. In a future firmware update, an additional 4x3 scan mode will be added. This scan mode will make it easy to shoot with 2x anamorphic lenses. Until then, you should use the 16x9 8.6K full frame or the 16x9 full frame 6K crop modes to shoot with 35mm anamorphic lenses as these scan modes are tall enough to accommodate classic 2x anamorphic glass. However, because these are 16x9 or 17x9 scan modes, you'll need to crop the sides of the frame in post to remove any vignetting and obtain the correct final aspect ratio. To simplify and speed up switching between the different crop modes, it's possible to assign crop mode to one of the camera's assignable buttons. This will then allow you to almost instantly switch between any of the three different crop sizes. However, you should note that this will not allow you to go from the full uncropped 8.6K scan to the cropped scan modes, or from the cropped scan modes back to the uncropped 8.6K scan. Burano includes four different codecs, XOCN, XAVCH, XAVCI, and XAVCL. The codec can be changed via page one of the status menu or from the project settings in the full menu. XOCN is a 16-bit codec that stores everything the camera sensor can capture using clever compression algorithms. And this delivers compact, computer-friendly files with raw video performance and immense post-production flexibility. As an example of how efficient XOCN is, an 8.6K 16-bit XOCN LT file will be similar in size to a 4K ProRes 4444 file. A one terabyte CF Express card will hold approximately one hour of 8.6K XOCN LT or close to two hours of 6K XOCN LT at 24 frames per second. For productions where you want the very best image quality, you should choose XOCN whenever possible. With the Burano camera, XOCN can be used for every scan mode and every frame rate, from full frame 8.6K to Super 35 cropped 4K. If you wish to shoot at 8K, but need a more efficient codec than XOCN, then there is the option to select the new XAVCH codec. XAVCH is a new high efficiency codec based on H.265 compression. Burano includes two versions, XAVC-HI and XAVC-HL. Both use the MXF wrapper, R10-bit 422. XAVC-HI is an iframe only codec and there are two quality levels, high quality HQ and standard quality SQ. HQ records at up to 1,200 megabits per second and SQ up to 800 megabits per second. For 16x9 8.6K, you can get even smaller files using XAVCHL. This is a long GOP codec, which brings even greater recording efficiency. But it should be noted that due to the increased codec complexity, you'll need a highly optimized computer to work with these files smoothly in post-production. For those times that you don't need to record at 8K or 6K, then you have the option to record at 4K using XAVC-I. XAVC-I is Sony's standard 4K codec. This codec is natively supported in almost every professional edit and grading application and is almost universally accepted by broadcasters and production companies. It offers high quality in a compact package. The near universal support for XAVCI makes it a good choice when handing off 4K footage to clients with older or unknown workflow capabilities, or for 4K workflows where the XAVCH or XOCN codecs may be too complex or difficult to work with. XAVCI can be selected when using any of the 6K or lower scan modes. In this table, we can see all of the different scan modes along with the codecs available at each scan mode 
in the Burano version 1 firmware. Future firmware updates may add new scan modes or codec variations not listed here. So if you do have a later firmware version, please refer to the manual for your firmware version. I hope you found this video useful. This video is just one of a series of videos on Burano, so please take a look at the others to find out more about configuring the camera for different shooting styles, or on how to use the ND filter, autofocus, or stabilization functions.